Well, hello, it's another video from the Great Southern Ancient Miniature Man. And I've got a question today. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the greatest flesh wash of them all? So what I wanted to work out is in terms of a simple flesh wash, you can do a single wash over a base coat, which one of uh, commonly available flesh washes give you the best result without having to do a whole lot of extra highlighting and uh, uh, and further washes to bring up skin to a pretty decent level. Um, so what I plan to do is to compare. We have the Citadel Rockland's Flesh Shade, widely used one. We have this one from Reaper's uh, MSP Master Series Paints, um, which is simply called Flesh Wash. And then we have the same name, Flesh Wash by the Army Painter. So... The aim of the game is to give a series of miniatures a priming. I'm going to use the Army Painter, uh, that's the Barbarian Flesh, as the primer. And then I'll give each one a single wash with one, um, one of those flesh washes. And then we can compare them. So you can draw your own conclusions. So what better miniatures to do a flesh wash on than a whole lot of hairy naked barbarians so I'll get the uh, Victrix Gaelic uh, naked guys um, built up and primed uh, just so we can compare the findings not only on plastic but also on metal miniatures I've got a few here these are um, Warlord Games German guys with a fair bit of skin exposure so I'll give them the same base coat and then we'll give one each of those uh, a dose of these washes so there'll be three figures two plastics and one metal for each of the washes and you can uh, make your own conclusion so I'll be back in a moment once they're all prepared Right, welcome back. So here they are, fully assembled, primed, ready for a good, honest washing. So the C's are the ones for the Citadel, the R for the Reaper Master Series paint, and then the A will be the Army Painter wash. So dirty ghouls, time for a good wash. See you in a sec. All right, washy washy time. So I've given all the um, the washes a bit of a shake up. I'm going to. Uh, Get to it. Separate brush for each one so as not to cross contaminate at all. We'll do all the skin areas of the models. Pretty uh, liberal slopping of the wash over, nothing overly delicate. Let's do the front half of these guys first, then I might flip them around and go to the back. So, this is obviously the um, Rockland Flesh Shade from Citadel. Goes on pretty easily. Now this German fella, let's get him all his skin bits. So he's got an exposed chest and arms and face, obviously. Let's get a bit of stuff on all of that, those areas. And let's get a bit under the chest either side. He's got boots on, so no good there. So I'll just get at the backs of these guys as well. Give him a bit of a washing around there. Plenty on. I'll go back in a minute and just remove any excess that's really pooling too much. For now, I just want to get a bit all over them. And then back of this guy, or back of his arms, he needs. <coughs> they are. They are Righto. That's pretty good stuff for these guys. So that's a Citadel. So let's move on to the um, Master Series Paints Flesh Shade by uh, Reaper. Get out of my palette here. Not going to dilute it in any way. Oh no, almost run out. Let's get some of that on. On the front there, and then 
the front there. I'll just have to pause it there and get some more. I've got another one of these, so I'll crack that out. Back in a moment. Right, so I've got some more of the um, flesh wash, luckily, and I'll give it a good shake. So let's get a bit more of that in action. So, where were we? We're up to this guy. Bit of a wash around there. The arms and the legs. And German fella again. We've got all his chest showing there. Let's give this guy a bit more. It didn't look like he had very much on. I think I ran out of paint. I ran out of wash halfway through to his legs there. Now, a bit on the back to each of these guys. Done obviously. Arm there, arm there. In his face. Alright, that should do it, I think, for the that one. And then army painter. Let's give this boy a bell. My golly. That on there. It's quite nice. It's a bit more viscous, the Army Painter one. That's certainly one thing I'll notice. Uh, makes it a bit easier to sort of apply it and to stay where you put it rather than just dribbling down. I like that about all their washes. They've got a good viscosity to them. Front half, now face of the German. Arm of the German. Shirt on. I think he's got a uh, cloak. Hard to see from here. Cloak, but I think a bare chest. I'll do, yeah, do his chest there. And then the legs. Got their uh, jack, um, Got the trousers on there. So I'll do them. Let's come around to the, do the backs of these guys again. Armpits. Good. I'm just going to look at the back of these guys to be sure. Got all their bits. Oh no, he's missed a bit. Let's do his arm there and his hand. Back of hand there. Sticking with the army painter. Missed a bit of his leg. Alright, now what about these other guys? So R is for Reaper. Um, I've missed a few bits on these guys. I'm going to go get this out of the way. This was the brush and the palette for the Reaper. I'm going to give this guy's back a bit more. Make sure he's fully done. His bum. Uh, hand there. Get the bum back of knees. Poor near is where you would have natural shadowing. Okay, I think that's him. A bit of the back of the elbow there. That's that, and I'm pretty happy we've covered the um, Citadel ones perfectly. All right, so I'll let all that dry, and then I'll put them on the rotisserie, and we will decide who the winner is. I just might have, it's a reaper, I might have just missed put him in his elbow there. All right, good, back soon. And here they are, all washed, dried off, ready for examination. So I'll let them go do a few laps around here you can make your own conclusions and then I will put in the uh, wash pot so you can see who's who 
See which ones you think are the best. So we'll just get around another half a lap and then I will add in the pots to give you the conclusion. They look quite good. What a huge difference between them. Right, let me pause here and we'll add in the pots. Right, here we are back again. So that's the Army Planer Flesh Wash. Quite good. I would give that my second favourite of the Reichland Flesh Shave from Citadel. I find the spread of that's pretty uneven. Some areas a bit too heavy, some a bit too dark. And then we have the Master Series Paint Reaper. That's my favourite by a margin. I think it gives a lot more interesting definition. Look at the back of that guy just turning around with the helmet. Um, gives more muscle definition. It, uh, it gives a subtle shading to the face a little bit more than the other ones do. Let me just zoom in a little bit more for the next circuit and you can maybe appreciate some of those more subtle differences. So that's Citadel again. These guys, oh, I think they're the winner. Look at the muscles on the back of that guy, they just stand out quite nicely. The middle figure also looks good. The army paint, oh, to my impression, that's probably comes in at second place. Gives a slightly darker tone to everyone, so perhaps better for Mediterranean guys rather than sort of northern Europeans. And then, yeah, I think that, that it's very. Um, fluid the Rockland's flesh shade. I think it just runs a bit too much really. So as I say my favourite is the MSP Master Series Paints by um, uh, by Reaper. Anyway, draw your own conclusions. I hope you enjoyed that. Find it useful. Don't forget like, subscribe, bell button, all that good gear and uh, we will catch you on the next video. See ya.